Obliner, owner of Salvation here. Day 68 of my legendary prep for my pro card, and uh, I keep losing weight. I'm eating all my meals, and uh, basically I just figure I need to eat more, which is really just getting annoying because I'm really uncomfortable eating all this food, but I'm going to have to get a little sloppy, I guess. No big deal. 215 pounds. I'm still just as lean. I posted a picture of me doing a lateral raise on Facebook. Uh, I'm pretty damn lean right now. Too damn lean to be off-season and trying to gain size. Big news. Big news is the winner of the Weekend in the Natty contest with TigerFitness.com. The grand prize winner is Jason Kramer of Indiana. And Jason and I will be rolling. We will be going in November to the University of Cincinnati football game. Um, the Cats, baby. We're going to be rolling. We're going to be doing our thing. We're going to be standing sideline. Um, the owner of Tiger Fitness played ball at Cincinnati, so he got us the hookup. We're going to be eating, training, living like bodybuilders, which is going to be new for me because obviously I'm not used to that. No, it's going to be really awesome. Um, it's going to be in the later time in November, around the, I believe it's the 19th. Thank you uh, for participating, everybody who did. We got 16 total winners. Um, everything's actually, we got 16 people that were in the drawing that we drew from the top, then we drew from that. We have grand prize winners. Everybody got some free stuff. It was awesome. Thank you, everybody who participated. Currently doing a competition through muscleandstrength.com where you win a weekend next year in February where we get to roll to a University of North Carolina Tar Heels basketball game. So we're going to be doing that. Um, again, don't know why anybody would want to spend time with me, but I think we'll have fun. We'll at least take you out some good meals, some good workouts, and um, hopefully we'll, we'll watch some internet porn or something of that nature. Uh, the question of the day was actually sent via YouTube, and I'm not going to pull it up and read it because I've been thinking about this a lot because it gets asked to me every single time I do a seminar. Mark, what place does alcohol have in a bodybuilder diet? I'm just going to expand further that if you're a bodybuilder, can you drink? My opinion is unless you're competing, have fun. Have a couple of cocktails on the weekend. Um, if you're seriously competing, you're in the off-season trying to gain the most possible, my opinion on alcohol is this. There's only two good things that come from alcohol. That is, one, estrogen buildup, and two, the ability to sleep with ugly chicks. Or if you're a woman, ugly dudes. Or, if you're in college, a chance to experiment with the same sex, if you happen to be heterosexual. Uh, what I would recommend, if you're serious about bodybuilding, either keep it recreational, social, where if you go out, you have a glass of wine or maybe a beer, but if you're drinking a six-pack or a 12-pack on the weekends, chances are bodybuilding isn't for you. My opinion on that would be, don't give up drinking, give up bodybuilding. Because if drinking is that important to you, obviously bodybuilding isn't. Bodybuilding is a sacrifice, it's a 24-7 sport, not really a sport, more of an activity or a human dog show. Thus, I would recommend if you really need to drink, drink. Don't bodybuild. Stay off my stage. Don't come in looking stupid. Uh, and, and don't complain to me that you can't drink beer. Don't want to hear that crap. Uh, it doesn't really fly with me. Uh, yesterday, had a great workout. Went in and did shoulders and biceps. Pump was ridiculous. It was absolutely out of control. My meals yesterday, I'm going to list them out. My meals have been 40, uh, actually 56 grams protein, 15 grams of fat, and 60 grams of carbs. My meals have been basically, that would be 56 grams of protein from Cyvation Whey, 60 grams of oatmeal, 80 grams of oatmeal, which equals 60 grams of carbs, and then 32 grams of peanut butter, which equals 15 grams of fat. I'll throw some blueberries in there once in a while. Another possible meal would be a Cyvation Egg Pancake, which would be egg whites mixed with Cyvation Whey, and then I'll top that off with peanut butter. And I'll also have some oatmeal or Ezekiel bread on the side. That would be four slices of Ezekiel bread. And, you know, sometimes I'll just have some pasta, some rice, um, or I'll just eat a normal family meal, which happens to be cooked clean and fits into my macronutrients. And even if it doesn't, who cares? I'm human. It's the off-season, and I'm trying to get calories in, and my skinny ass can't gain weight. Um, so I'm going to eat it. Uh, tonight, going out to dinner, going to the Texas Roadhouse, going to get as big of a steak as I can, eat as much sweet potato as I can, and uh, probably get a Caesar salad. It's going to be epic and fun. Uh, tomorrow on tap. Tomorrow will be a legendary leg day. It's my squat, stiff leg deadlift, leg press, and then calf day. Very, very fundamental bread and butter type exercises. This is where I build the base that will take me onto the national stage at a higher weight than I've ever competed at. Again, I'm in basic contest shape now. I need to put on a few more pounds of lean mass. It shouldn't be tough. One good thing about staying lean and light is that I'm not really far off from contest shape, so every pound of lean mass I'm putting on should be usable lean mass that I won't lose 
uh, dieting down for nationals. Uh, that's pretty much that. If you have any questions, email them to mlobliner.salvation.com. Post it on Facebook. Post it on one of the forums I post this on. Um, or just email me. That would be the easy way to go. If you have anything you guys need, let us know. Prima Force update for Skolin 50 is on the market. Forskolin is a great product. Helps with thyroid function, um, helps with testosterone, hormone function. It's really a great product. I remember I had some trainers take people off of thyroid hormone, T3, to diet and put them on high dose. Uh, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do because, you know, the government will come after me, but I've known people to do this. Forskolin is very effective at that. And the dosage they were given was 50 milligrams twice a day. And that's exactly what we're giving people with Prima Force. Great price. Full month supply at the highest dosing. Don't email me and say, what's the real dose I should take? Take it per label, dude. We're not tripping with you. We're not lying to you. That's all you need. 50 milligrams twice a day. If you're male, female, it doesn't matter. Um, that's good to go. Salvation Way, again, it's rocking. Extend is still the recovery product of the year. And uh, you're going to see Quake arrive at some retailers next week. So Quake 10.0 is back on the market, and it's pretty much clump-free. This isn't the exact final version. You might have you might have to shake it once, but it'll come completely apart. So if you love Quake like I do and you want to get results, keep an eye out next week. I know MuscleOnStrength.com will have some, and um, he'll have some by probably Tuesday, um, Tuesday of next week, which is in a day. So if you need anything, let me know. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Till then, next time, I'm going to go eat some damn steak. You guys have a good night.